Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. Hey, I got a little cool product. If uh, if you guys are uh, just getting into solar, or if you've been in solar a long time, uh, this is a must-have product. It's just a small, portable little power meter. And what this does is it uh, it measures the power and the voltage of amps and the watts that come in from a solar source. Um, it, it really is a must-have. Um, just to give you an idea, this will be a short review. Um, here's a string I got outside. It's two panels, uh, small. It's probably about 40, 48 volts in there. Um, and on this thing, you have uh, your your source and your load. Now, your source is your your power source, of course, and uh, your load is what you're gonna either charge your power station in or use it for, you know, whatever you're gonna use it for. So here's the neat thing with this. Let's say uh, let's say you got uh, new panels. You want to try them out. And you ever notice that panels, some, some of them come just like this. The positive's black, the negative's black. I, I put these MC4 on myself here. But uh, you know what? That's, that's pretty useless because now you have to get one of these guys out, right? And you have to figure out which one is positive, which one is negative. Now, if you're not, you know, like familiar how to use these things or if you just don't have one, uh, I mean, you can grab these at Harbor Freight, but let's say you don't have one, right? You have this. This doesn't make a mistake. So if I were to plug these in the source the wrong way, this won't turn on. So the, the nice thing about that is that means a lot of power stations have that re uh, reverse polarity, which means uh, uh, the wires are, you know, they're backwards like that, right? The positive is this one and the positive, so the negative is that one. So that you could, you could screw up your power station. A lot of new ones have safeties in them, like blockers. So when you plug them in, it'll either beep or just not do anything. Uh, so here, let's try it once. Let's plug it in here. We'll put the negative in that one and the positive in that one. Now, notice it turned on right away. So, you see up here, you got, uh, here's your amps that are coming. I hope you can see that. That's your amps. I'm, we're, we don't have it drawing anything. There, there's no load on it. Uh, here's your voltage. So you have 45.11 volts. So that's open circuit. That means it's not connected to something. Once you connect it to something, this will drop down. There'll be operating voltage. Your open voltage is how you rate a power station. So like if a power station said 12 to 50 uh, volts to, uh, input, this is 45. That means you could do it. I like to have a little bit of overhead in there. Like I, I try to bring it down a little bit, like uh, put 40 in there if it takes a 50. Because uh, power spikes, I want to make sure I don't overpower anything. But now let's say this uh, this power station, which this power station actually does, it, I think it only takes uh, 12 to 18. So 12 to 18 volt input and 45 open circuit, that's obviously way too much, right? So if you were to plug this in there, you know what happened to that battery? You'd probably go to the hospital. That, that would, that would uh, explode. So you don't want to do that. So this is a real nice way to make sure, like say, say you bought a used solar panel for a rubber sale or something, and uh, you know the sticker's old, it fell off, and you have no idea what the voltage is. Now you can write it all down. You'll know exactly what the open uh, voltage is, the operating voltage. And then once you use it, it'll keep track of your amp hours, your watt hours, your peaks. Uh, here's your, your watts, uh, which is active watts, which is going through the system charging. And then here's your amps. So this is a really must-have, must-have. If you do solar or you're just getting into solar, I bought, uh, I bought three of these in the last uh, probably two months. And... Uh, every day you can use them matter of fact you can leave these on your solar string all the time and just uh, couple it and that way you can uh, make sure your power station is getting what it's supposed to and if there is a problem you'll know here before you get to there right so this is something really cool they're very cheap they're like 15 bucks it's a 200 amp one uh, they, they come either with mc4s on them or you can get them anderson power pole uh, it all depends. There's so many power stations. Like this is a barrel plug-in, 55, 25. So you, you know you have to have that. Uh, so you could convert two of these to a barrel. But uh, that's another video. But this, guys, if if you don't know what this is, if you've never seen it before, I'm assuming you do. But I just wanted to make a review because I thought this is a real important product. If you start getting into solar, this could save you from uh, popping a power station battery or or a bank of cells, or a bank of car batteries, or you know whatever you're trying to charge with a solar. So be safe out there, guys. No fires. 
and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.